I'm going to be joined in the commentary box by a lady who's got more experience of winning obedience championships than anyone else ever. In 11 visits with her dog Meg, she won 10 prizes, four of them first, and that's Muriel Pierce. And Muriel, all this wonderful experience of yours is actually being put to good use this year. You're judging the Kennel Club Junior Obedience Championship. Yes, and I'm thoroughly looking forward to that, Peter. But I do think that this is the best idea that the Kennel Club have had for years because they are helping the youngsters from the age of eight years old to learn how to groom their dogs, to work their dogs, to handle their dogs, to look after their dogs. And it's a really super idea because when they come eventually to go into the senior classes, they'll have absorbed all this atmosphere and learned how to do it properly. What particular skills are you going to be looking for? Um, first of all, I'm looking for the dog and handler to work as a team and for youngsters to perhaps be able to anticipate any fault that the dog might make and to correct it before it even occurs. As Muriel says, the atmosphere absolutely wonderful here at Crufts. The great atmosphere down there in the main arena, that's where the Obedience Championship is going to take place. Dog Obedience, we're looking at 27 competitors. They're all good. The best is going to win. And they'll have to do this pretty well to start with the send away. That's the area that they have to aim for. And the first dog we'll see is Tyracol Ben Token with Bronwyn Bartley. And this dog has come on extremely well in the last couple of years. And this is a perfect example of a good, accurate send away. It isn't over until the dog is recalled and comes back oh, yeah. to the handler. But as you so rightly said, Muriel, they were clear, no faults. Now this is Medieval with uh, Dot Watts. Send it out. And this is a five-year-old dog who is at Crufts for the first time. Oh, that's loose marks for that oh, because he's overshot the box. They lose the marks for being off the target. Oh, you know. Further off target, the more they lose. Right. In fact, for that deviation, three and a half points they lost. This is Domino Double with Irene Stapley. And this yeah. pair, if you remember, won this competition a couple of years ago. It's a beautiful dog, fast, knows its job, and is doing extremely well. So many distractions there in the arena, aren't there, Muriel? Oh, indeed. Cool, you know. Left. In spite of all that's going on, lovely performance there. Absolutely clear, so they were on target for the big prize. Leave it up. Next, we can see some distant control. This is Mount Hill Meadowcroft with handler John Davis. And this dog, again, is at uh, Crufts for the first nice time. Dog. He's a nine-year-old dog, and uh, at the moment, Six appears position. a little bit that's shy. Good. Stand. Back. Down. Down, down. Yes, he's missing a lot of commands there. Down. It sort of all seems a little bit sluggish, doesn't it? Yes, it does. He doesn't seem Stand. too happy. Well, these are all the things that the judge has to look out for. They want sharp, spontaneous movement. And uh, the dog not doing too well. Okay, return to dog. Picking up a lot of faults. Six in all. It's finished. And a new site for Crufts, Mike Farrington with Twisty of Chalisfar. Yes, we're used to seeing him with the German Shepherd, aren't we? But this is a very good dog, and I particularly like Mike's very clear commands with a different intonation for each position. The dog reacts perfectly. And he'll be very pleased with losing no points on that. With the sixth position. Evo's cross purposes now, same exercise with Stand. Jenny Watson. Down. In fact, Jenny Watson and Evo's cross purposes Down. did a charity Down. walk from uh, Newcastle to London last year. Yes, and that's Down. 235 miles, and they raised uh, 8,000 pounds. Cheerful little dog, though, isn't oh, it? Oh, very happy. And Judge Pat Beaton decided they should lose half a mark there, as we now go to the heel work with Red Hot Toddy and Mary Ray. Well, you know, many people say that obedience and agility don't mix, but this dog proves otherwise, because besides being an obedience champion, he is a very big winner in the agility competitions. 
Mary Ray, actually the reserve for the rugby team in the agility trials here, but demonstrating some very good heel work, where the dogs have to walk at slow, medium and fast pace with their handlers, as directed by the steward, round obstacles, and that's a pretty good performance. Three points lost. This is Penn Hill Kim with Sandy Wadhams. And here we have a nine-year-old dog with a rather peculiar yes. head carriage. I'm sure he can't see where he's going, but has to rely on the leg of his handler to guide him round. Into the wave. And he'll work, of course, a very long exercise, about five minutes here, total concentration needed. Round the post and return through the wave. Round the post. And for and all that holding the head strangely, performing well and just lost three points. Back to Twisty of Chalisfar with Mike right. Farrington. Now, as you can see, Twisty has an easy flowing style. Right. He also has quick reactions to the handler's commands. But I do wish that Mike would hold his head up instead of looking at the floor. <laughs> Is that because he used to work with the uh, German Shepherds? Oh, I right. think so. He probably misses the height of the Shepherd. Right. Slow pace. Still a good performance, and three and a half points were lost in that exercise by them. The retrieve now, self-explanatory exercise. This is Domino Double again with Irene Stapley. Well, this dog is still going well. A very clean pickup, no mouthing, coming back at a reasonable speed. Nice present in front. But there goes a the half mark. Not quite straight sit, as Pat Beaton notices. And if you think you're seeing double here, you're not, because you're seeing treble. This is Domino Treble, same handler. Uh, yes, treble is the son of Domino Double. He's only two and a quarter years old and is the youngest dog Take to it. compete here at Crufts this year. Finish. I think he's a very good prospect to, for a win in the future. Like father, like son, it's half finished. a point goes there. Thank you. These dogs do enjoy these competitions. Look at that. And now Evo's cross purposes again with Jenny Watson at the moment. They're in the lead. Yes, I'm sure Jenny will be extremely pleased with this dog. He's going very, very well indeed. What a happy dog he is. Thank Lovely you. to work. Finish. And they'll stay in the lead with that. Okay. Nothing Thank wrong you. at all. Absolutely clear. None of the dogs lost any points on the two-minute sit or the ten-minute down, so after six tests, Evo's Cross Purposes leads, Red Hot Toddy and Twisty of Chalisfar are in joint second place, tying, and Domino Double is fourth. As we go to the scent discrimination, here, the dogs must find and collect a particular cloth. That's the one there, which is marked with the judge's scent, as is the one that's being held to the dog's nose. Dog. First dog to attempt it, Red Hot Toddy, currently in second place. And you know, it's not always easy to do scent under these conditions because there's so many distractions. But Toddy is doing it very well, being very steady, and I feel sure he would do it. Yes, that's the one. Shouldn't have any faults so far. Take it. If the sit is Finish. good, Red Hot Toddy for Mary Ray will go into the lead. <laughs> no faults. This is Domino Double, was lying fourth. Well, although he appears pretty fast, he's a good scenting dog and very rarely has any trouble. Yet he's got it. Possibly mouthing it just as he picked it up. Take it. Certainly Pat Beaton Finish. found something wrong and gave just half a point fault. Was in joint second place. Twisty of Chalisfar. Twisty, of course, again, it looks very methodical. He's going over each one, making absolutely sure. Plenty of time. There's a one and a half minute time limit on the exercise. That's the one. He's got it. Clean pickup. This is going to put him into joint Take first it. place, provided he finishes Finish. properly. Thank you. Which he does, it's excellent. So Jenny Watson now knows that Evo's cross purposes has to go out there 
and do a perfect scent discrimination. If they do, they'll win. Well, it does look as if he's already beginning to get a bit worried. And from this angle, he appears to be mouthing one or two of the articles, and he'll lose marks for that. What's going through Jenny Watson's mind? She knows that if he goes properly, they could win, but he didn't even pick that up very well. You can feel it. The audience know he's blown it. Finish. They had it all there. But with two and a half points gone, they've absolutely blown it. They're out of the running. And so with a tie for first place, this is where in the runoff, Round Red Hot Toddy lost to ring. Twisty of Chalice Farm. Knocking that pearl over, put them right out of contention. Disappointment for Mary Ray, but absolute delight for Mike Farrington. Ten years here without success with an Alsatian, and a win in his first year with a Border Collie at the most prestigious obedience event in the country. Mike, an awful lot of years trying. Well, this is my 11th try at this. Uh, eventually, I've managed to crack it. <laughs> now, then, why the change in breed? I mean, you've always been German Shepherds. Well, the reason is that Chally was such a, a difficult dog to follow as a GSD. Um, I decided to change breeds and uh, get a collie and then go back to the Shepherd afterwards. So you're going back, aren't you, aren't you happy with this? Oh yes, very happy, <laughs> yes. And he's done you proud today. Oh, that's right, yes he has. Well, congratulations, marvellous, well done. Thank you very much indeed. We thought we'd let you take a look now at the top dogs in the Bitches Obedience competition. This is Bing's Gold Light Mischief with Harry Stevens. You'll notice in the scent discrimination it is a different pattern. That's the cloth they've got to find, and she's found it. Yes, she's a brilliant little dog, and I'm so glad that she's done well for Harry this year. In fact, they lost just half a point, six and a half in total, to take third place in the competition. Now, a very popular pairing. We're used to seeing them here at Crufts. Sea Light Becky with Maureen Alcock. Yes, this pair won it uh, two or three years ago. She's a very consistent little bitch, very fast, but she's got it this time. Well done, Becky. Pat Beaton then comes round for a closer look. They were in second place, and she decides just half a point lost. They'll stay in second place. Splendid for them. And that means that Sylvia Bishop knows, like Jenny Watson before her, that all her dog, Pajawi Crystal Gale, has to do is to go out and do a perfect scent discrimination. Well, although this dog doesn't look very confident, I do hope she does it because Sylvia's had a lot of bad luck this last year and she really deserves to win it this time. Thank goodness that's the right one. And nothing wrong with it so far. Very tense moment, the crowd very quiet. Get round for the finish. Oh, what a moment. And they've won it. The first German Shepherd dog for several years to win the Obedience Championship at Crumps. And look what it's done to Sylvia, given the strength she didn't know she had. So there's the final lineup. The Joey Crystal Gale wins. Sea Light Becky second. Bing's Gold Light Mischief third.